everyone and it's been a very long time since you guys have heard from me clearly this is not my usual background that you guys see <laughs> um so what happened in these last few weeks technically a month within this last month i had been homeless with my family for a while paperwork got messed up things went really bad i fell behind in school I honestly, it's been chaotic trying to get through this whole process. Uh, I didn't really tell many people what happened until like it legit was starting to get to me because well, th th this is a <laughs> private kind of thing that was happening. So you can't just go around telling people, oh, hey, I'm homeless. It doesn't work that way. But other than that, well, I'm here now. I'm trying to get back into face painting. Trying to get back into face painting after a few weeks of not being able to do it. It's a little weird having to talk back at my camera again. Um, but other than that, like I'm really trying my best to keep up with school, especially after everything that happened. Um, luckily, I never miss class. I never ditch either. I am always on. Like, I either I'm more willing to show up late to class than to not show up at all. Like, that's just how I am. If there's people out there that you just don't want to go to class, well, then I'll give you a look, but I'm not going to do much more. Um, but other than that, like, I've been very grateful that you guys are still watching my videos, that you're still subscribing. And it's, it's great on your behalf, and it's great for me, too, because it shows that even though I'm not able to post anything on the meantime, you guys were still there supporting me either way, and I'm very grateful, so thank you very much for all of that. So, I'm finally gonna get started on doing some face painting. This look was inspired by me going to San Francisco a lot lately. Um, I, I went out, I guess you could say it's a date. <laughs> I guess it could, it could be a date, a date now. Uh, I went a few weeks back, to San Francisco with someone and I on I'll be honest with you guys I was starting to run out of ideas and so I asked the guy that took me there like hey what can I do because I'm running out of ideas and he's like well why don't you do something that has to do with the street art we saw so I was like oh my gosh so he gave me the idea of the Golden Gate Bridge and since uh, he said street art so I was like so some graffiti so I'm gonna do the Golden Gate Bridge right here on my neck and the rest of my face is going to be covered in graffiti. This might be a little tricky because, well, with the words, I'm going to have to do them backwards instead of the normal way because if I do it the normal way, well, they, they can't be legible. They can't be readable. So it's like... <sighs> so I really hope you guys enjoy this look. Once again, thank you for supporting my channel even though I haven't been able to post up that much lately. Thank you so much. All right, so first things first, I need to set the foundation. And I finally got face primer. You can get this anywhere. I ended up getting the face primer from e.l.f. It's the poreless face primer. Sorry, I, I'm still getting used to it. And I did put some on my neck since I will be putting the face paint on, uh, well, makeup technically, on my neck. So I don't want to stain that because tomorrow is another special day for me. All right, now the foundation is set. I can finally start outlining with a red Halloween crayon on my neck first. I'm doing my neck first this time because, well, I feel like that's going to be the more time-consuming one. So, without further ado, I'm going to get started on that. Yes, I'm very aware that this is not a good outline, but this is just a base for the where I'm supposed to put the red eyeshadow. And it's just a temporary outline. It's not the official what I'm going to look, what it's going to look like. Okay, so I already finished putting all the red eyeshadow that I think was enough to cover what I wanted. So now I started adding some of the black eyeshadow and I really like how it's starting to make everything pop out. I swear, children, whoever's watching me, teenagers, adults, whoever's watching me, I swear black is amazing to use when you want to make something pop out. But it is very dangerous at the same time because once you start messing up there is no going back and it, it, it's just so sad so right now i'm just taking my time on adding the black slowly and very carefully <laughs> um so i'm really happy with how it's going so far with what i'm doing um so what i'm trying to make the effect is this be a little bit bigger than this one over here 
So uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna give that effect now since I um, I kind of made them the same height. <laughs> My bad. Um, so I'll see what I can do to make one pop out more than the other. I think I'm gonna add more gray to this one since it's more further away, so more shadow. So see how the rest goes. Okay, so I'm now satisfied with how much shading I have done. Now I'm going to be adding my black eyeliner, which I always use from Maybelline. Black is black. I don't like using any other brand. I already tried a whole set of other brands for eyeliner and I'm most satisfied with Maybelline. So I'm going to start putting black where there should be black to make everything pop out even more. So this is what I have done so far. Hi, this is Over One. So this was my finished product. The Golden Gate Bridge on my neck. I really hope you guys like this. I had so much fun getting this done. Uh, in order for me to do the graffiti that's on my face, I had to find a certain font for graffiti that I like personally, and I had to go through another app so I can flip it since I am a visual artist where I have to look at something so I, I, I can do it myself. I had to flip it. Uh, in my mind, I can flip it, but it's not the same as when I'm looking at it directly. So here's what I did to myself. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you seriously, you guys have been a huge help for me now that I'm, you know, like I'm able to FaceTime, Face Paint, not FaceTime, blah, Face Paint again. <laughs> Very excited to get going with this again. Um, just waiting for the semester for school to finish because honestly, it's just been. It's been really stressful. It's always stressful for school, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, like the video, leave a beautiful comment down below. Um, thank you so much, you guys. Uh, this is Miss Buddies 101 signing out. I hope you have a wonderful day, my fellow Spartans.